be a first overall pick in the draft. That no longer counts with the career he's had. Uh, he played ten. He started ten games last year for two teams. He managed to go two and eight. But that's going to happen. But the fact that he got sacked three point six times each game, that's astounding. So he needs to be okay. The Minnesota Vikings crowd can assist with that at U.S. Bank Stadium Sunday. Kind of like Buffalo Wild Wings here. Thank you. 
gentlemen, uh, your better days are behind you. All I know is when I take a snap and I verbally go back and throw a pass, Jared Wells is there with reliability to the left side, and Eric Nordquist is there with reliability to the right side. So I know I got my teammates uh, to whom I can throw the rock and make plays. And uh, once again, hopefully, the Minnesota Vikings are more well prepared for the season than the uh, co host of the Friday Football Baseball Fair Team, uh, who uh, just has arrived. Uh, Norton. Jack Greenway listening to his car right now. Uh, and this next um, statement may be cringe worthy to you. Greenway went to the wrong Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm about ready to crack those in this new Fox 9 thing. By the way, they told me 8.50, so I was here at 8.42. That's just what we do at KFAN. And, um, and he said, dude, I went to, how do you go to the wrong Buffalo Wild Wings? I mean, seriously. How do you have that kind of cash and cachet and respect for what you did during the course of an illustrious career and then you wake up one morning and you're like, I live in Minnetonka, Oakdale must be to the west, so I think I'm going to head that way. <laughs> so, right, so Chad Greenway is uh, en route and um, he will be part of the Friday Football Feast somewhere in the next 10 minutes. Uh, coming up a little later, uh, we have um, a Safety who played for the Vikings named Jeff Wright. Every so often, Simon Sammy, Tom West, and Publicist. We uh, will provide a Minnesota Vikings legend on air, on site, on demand, and hopefully on fire. Uh, it's a cat named Jeff Wright who played 71 to 77 with the Minnesota Vikings. He started like 62 games. He started all three Super Bowls. And he has three postseason interceptions, which is tied for second most in the history of the Minnesota Vikings. So, I'm excited to meet Jeff Wright about uh, an hour from now at Buffalo Wild Wings. He will be preceded by Vikings Chief Operating Officer Andrew Miller, uh, who will be calling KFAN for Jeff Wright for a few minutes about opening weekend festivities and things that are transpiring at um, U.S. Bank Stadium. This weekend involving not only the Vikings Bank of the Box, but uh, by the brand and much more. So that will take place nearing the end of the night. They will get into the legend uh, about 25% through the 10, and then Dave Henderson from Vikings.com and Vikings out of 10 Network, Main Man G, he will be here at the club on their Find a Man on time and on time. That's what the Friday football piece looks like today. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Jared Wells, the only Seriously. 
uh, in this case, the NIL money is what's changing this, right? No, he can stay at USC and still make many millions of dollars playing at USC.
third place on position, maybe one and a half or two. First place in all, I mean, the right defensive end, right defensive end, no tackle, three technique. He, he's the best defensive player in the National Football League, and that's what I want to respect here or not. Aaron's at eight, Aaron's high end, so it's Glenn Williams, Dexter Horn, some of his corners, Carter, stuff like that. Chris Jones, because of this position,
forward to bring up that spirit to vodka, uh, tie in with your friends, and you know what? Um, I think about this one. Uh, the, uh, we, gotta, we gotta have some wonderful, wonderful things on. Not only this weekend, we have the season, the postseason, we can bring up our guests go. Yeah, bring up that is an awesome old song. It's a place to be if you're trying to feel the week. There's nothing better than playing on baseball without other football season, I suppose. Yes. Um, because as we bring up the, the twins, are like, oh, yeah, that's going on this week, too. Yeah. <laughs> to let it stay over here. Um, the Great Up Deck Recovery has been such a great and a massive for the company. And I think both uh, the work of the twins, love to see you win. I did see the record compared to the Wild Card teams in Major League Baseball. I'm like, okay, hey, we're in. We gotta get in. We can, all you have is a chance to have a chance. And uh, all sorts of fun, exciting stuff. We're obviously getting this.
And then the road to the stop and the of being a potential guy and all the My personal opinion is that
But for lots of families here, being a bird is the sole reason why I've ever walked out of the way to have those things going on. The fact that both of those guys get to run through, being a bird is really the only two out of the way. So up until then, we're quite getting up to the second level to block the line on this. So that opens up opportunities for the hunting and the baby wants to just be who they are. So we really have to have the baby wants to be who they are. So I'm very excited for this challenge to come out and come back and talk to the baby wants to be they put together for the year, so they know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and they know that they have a child task in front of them, so we do see how they're going to be able to take steps up to the table. Yeah, and you told me that each other's going to be able to take steps up to the table. Right now, it'll be just a lot of this material that's going to be able to take steps up to the table. We'll find out. So I've got to get that. These get better in these kinds of situations. Thank you. 